Hello, and welcome to Chris's Q&A video. How you doing, all my amazing, amazing people out there? Um, basically, what I want to do today is just kind of make a quick Q&A, get some questions. Uh, there's a lot of questions that need answering, and I'm going to answer them for you guys right here, right now. Do my best to make this uh, efficient and easy for everybody. So first of all, man, how do I stop missing all your videos? YouTube can suck sometimes, and the algorithms are all gross and stupid, and I want to see your videos, dude. How do I do that? Well, all you got to do, man, is you got to click that little bell button right next to the subscribe button, and you'll make it'll make sure that every single time I post a video or anything, you will get notified. Number two, what's your name, Chris? It's Chris, also known as Super John Bombo. And what is Super John Bombo? Oh boy, do I get that question a lot. What the heck does your name mean? Uh, well, Super John Bombo is honestly just a completely made up random name that I made up when I was in seventh grade. When my friend first made me my, uh, my first email account and it, he asked me, what do you want to call it? Um, I really like the word super. So I was like, let's do super. And then uh, I was like, super bomb. Bombs are cool because they explode. And then John came because it rhymed with bomb. And then you add an O on the end just for the fun of it. So super John Bombo was bored right then and there. I'm also 27 years old, but I do end up uh, forgetting how old I am. In fact, I just got my contacts recently. And the girl asked me, how old are you? And I was like, oh, I'm 26. Hold on, hold on. I do the math as well. I'm 27. I don't tell anybody how old I am anymore, so I just kind of forget a little bit. Where am I from? Well, I'm from the United. Oh, I'm from Earth. I'm from the United States. I am from Illinois, and then I'm I'm like kind of close to Chicago, I guess. I'm probably about about an hour out of Chicago. So in the suburbs of Chicago, if you want to get real crazy with it. Um, how long have I been playing balloons for? That's a tough question, because technically I've been playing balloons since at least like I was a sophomore or junior in high school, which is about 12, 12 14 years ago. I know, crazy man, right? Uh, or, or 10 to 12 years ago, around there. But really, I started making, uh, I started actually like playing balloons, like kind of hardcore, uh, about eight years ago or so. You know, I really enjoyed, when I first got my first computer, when I actually owned a computer, I was 19 years old. That's when I got the internet and, like, actually got to do everything that I wanted to do on the computer. And that's when I started finding addicting games and eventually it led me to Bloons. And I realized Bloons is a really freaking fun game and I started posting that stuff on YouTube. So, uh, why do you start YouTube? Great leading up question right there. Well, uh, I, as I probably have told you guys before, I actually didn't have the internet um, until I was about... 17 years old like technically I had the internet when I was a little bit younger um, where if my dad unhooked the phone line he could hook up the internet for us but he's like I only want to do that for school like we weren't allowed to use the internet at all until I was like basically 17 years old so jumping into the internet for me was really weird and kind of hard for me to do I didn't really understand it all that well I was kind of bad at it to be completely honest with you guys I was just bad at computers so I had to learn everything I remember um, even creating my first video it was horrible I couldn't figure out how to record sound I couldn't figure out how to record videos in like good frames per second or anything like that. I was using something called like Cam Studio or something. And what I would have to do is I have to add the music into post basically to make it like a decent video. Now keep in mind, when I first started, I did not commentate my videos. All my videos were uh, gameplay with some music overlaid. That, that's how I made my videos. For not just like a month or a couple months or, or whatever, I did it for like three years. That's how I made all of my videos. But the reason why I actually started was because I was playing these addicting games at addictinggames.com, which led me to uh, uh, Newgrounds and Armor Games. And I just had a bunch of fun playing all these random games on the internet. Flash games were like my life for like a couple of years. But what I realized is that on the internet, uh, I, I, was, I was noticing that... Uh, People were getting high scores that were better than my high scores, and I was upset about that, but I, was, I wanted to see how could they possibly be better than me. Like, how could they possibly have done better than what I just did right there? That was perfect. So I was a little upset. So what I decided to do is, like, you know what? I'm going to prove that I can actually do this instead of random hackers hacking the game to get these high scores, and I wanted to post it on YouTube. That's what I did. That's what my first video ever was, was Pwong 2. Pwong is like Pong, but instead of just one ball back and forth, it's with... Uh, 
10, 20, 30, maybe even like 40 balls at once, just kind of all over the place. You have to play like extremely freaking good to just get all these random points. And I showed my high scores on Pong. And uh, my, my Pong videos for a really long time were the highest scores on YouTube. I think they still are possibly the highest scores on YouTube. Um, besides the fact that I deleted all of my videos, which I will not be talking about today, but... Um, let's move on to the next question up in here. Did I help make Bloom Star Defense 6, and how do I communicate with Ninja Kiwi? Well, no, I didn't help make uh, Bloom Star Defense 6. In fact, I don't think they really even take my input into consideration all that much. Um, I don't communicate with Ninja Kiwi all that much. In fact, I did talk to Aaron, who works at Ninja Kiwi, a couple days ago. I wanted to ask him if there's anything that I could do for my live streams about getting rid of random people that are trying to join and mess up my live streams. And he said... Uh, currently, no, there is nothing that we can do, but we're going to add a kick function for you, Chris. I'm going to talk to the team. We're going to try and get it done. I'm like, heck, yeah, that's exactly what I need, man. Get these noob cakes out of here. We're messing up my stream. So I'm kind of excited about that. But uh, do I communicate with Ninja Kiwi? Not really all that much, to be completely honest. Like, I, I, I would say that I, I communicate with them probably once every... <sighs> few months or so you know every once in a while i'm just like all right i gotta i gotta tell them something that i have on my mind over here if i'm really angry about something or very passionate about something i want to make sure ninja kiwi knows so that they can either uh fix the issue or hopefully remedy the problem somehow you know um do i know anyone from ninja kiwi so i've never met anyone from ninja kiwi in real life i've actually never specifically video or voice chatted with anyone from ninja kiwi it's all via text or email uh, through Discord, or it used to be Skype, or maybe emails all the way back in the day. But I do kind of feel like I know some people at Ninja Kiwi. I think, I don't know, I, because Sam is the community manager over there, and he actually made the videos for uh, their channel for a long time, I actually ended up really enjoying, uh, I really like Sam. That was kind of like my, my thing. I enjoyed him for a while. Man, I don't like these songs with, with the words on them. I'm just on no, no copyright sounds right now, so we'll see if it goes well. I really haven't been liking these songs all that much. Usually I do, though. Which is kind of sad. Um, anyways, so no, I don't really talk to anybody from Ninja Kiwi all that much. I know them, like, a little bit, and I feel like they probably know me better than I know them. <clears throat> In fact, I've been told that a lot of people at Ninja Kiwi know who I am. They've either watched my videos or kind of just know who I am in some way, shape, or form. So, uh... I don't know, that's kind of interesting, to be honest. Uh, you know, I feel a little bit special because of that. I feel like I do have some pull with Ninja Kiwi, but no, like, direct line of, like, hey, I want this done, and they're just like, oh my god, Super John Bombo asked what we have to do it, kind of thing, you know? Uh, do I don't, what do I know about BTD6? Ooh, this is a tough question, man. All right, um, so, first of all, there's actually, okay, let me, let me start by saying this. It's going to be mobile only, to start, to start being the key word there. Uh, we do know that there's heroes involved in the game, which is probably a really interesting concept uh, that we're not going to be used to. There's going to be some sort of hero that you probably have to use, and maybe even possibly pick up and move, and stuff like that to make your gameplay better. Um, it's most likely going to be $5 for the game. It's not going to be free. This is sort of consistent. We've seen this with BTD5 and... Um, uh, I think BTD4 as well. It's like $5 in the App Store. But the nice thing about that is you pay the $5, but then the content is there. You don't need to pay to win for, like, everything. It's just like, bam, it's there. The game is there. And if you pay the $5, you're good. You can pretty much play as much content as you want and get hundreds of hours of gameplay out of it if you want to. Which I think is freaking amazing. Um, so, that's about all I know, though. They've been very secretive about uh, Blue Star Defense 6. What about Bloons Adventure Time? Hmm. Alright, so this is interesting. People might not know this, but there's actually two new games coming out. Not just one. Not not just one. But two. Or four. Six. No, there's not just one game coming out. There's two games coming out. Uh, Bloons Adventure Time is going to come out in probably August. And then Bloons Start Up at Six is probably going to come out a few months after that. Probably November or December. Uh... Those are guesstimations based on some logic and understanding of release dates and also some uh, uh, blogs that people have posted based on Ninja Kiwi's information. I think it's pretty cool. So Blues of Time likely coming out, almost guaranteed coming out in August. 
and Blue Shot Event 6 somewhere later on in the year. Uh, we don't know very much about Blue's Adventure Time. We have even less information about Blue's Adventure Time than we do about Blue Shot Event 6, which is kind of weird, actually. You'd think that the game coming out sooner would have more information about it, but we don't. And we don't even have an official release date yet. I think it's crazy for just being a couple months out. How do you reach me? Well, how do you how do you talk to me? Well, I, I you know what? One thing that I pride myself on is that I actually really care about my fans, and I try my absolute best to communicate with you guys. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of you guys, and giving one-on-one, -on -one, you know, five minutes with everybody would literally leave me with zero time to do anything else, including eat and pee and, and, and go to the bathroom and all that other stuff. So sadly, I can't do that. But I do try and communicate get with you guys as much as I possibly can by either replying to comments or going on Discord. This is the number one way you guys can talk to me and reach me. Discord, I got a link. I got the link in the description in every single video. If you want to check it down, man, go down to the description down there. Should be one of the first links. You click that thing, you bring you right to Discord, and you're gonna be all ready to jump in my uh, jump in my server. Don't be afraid of Discord. It's similar to Skype, but much better. Uh, the main difference is is that instead of talking to individual people. Uh, you basically get to jump into servers, which is a group of people. So you can come come and find people with like-minded ideas and like-minded goals for their server. For example, my server is a balloon server, but you can talk to people about pretty much anything you want. I think it's freaking amazing. Um, I think it, the, the nice thing about it is it's a great place to meet people. If you want to just sit down and chat and talk to people about just about anything, it's a wonderful place to be. All right. Um... So that's one great way to kind of interact with me. I do end up talking to you guys on Discord, person to person, every once in a while, including sometimes crazy voice chat. I do voice chat with people sometimes. Sup, sup, sometimes. No guarantees there, guys. I'm, I'm very shy, actually. A lot of people don't know that about me. Uh, but another great way to find out more things about me is through YouTube's community section. So if you just like really like me or you want to know more about my life or like what I'm doing and all that other stuff, you can go to the YouTube community section and uh, kind of just like follow my posts. It's kind of like my own personal Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter kind of combined into one. I used to do Facebook posts and I used to do Twitter posts, but I'm honestly not that big of a fan of either of those anymore. So I use YouTube community and I'm probably also going to make my uh, Instagram... Uh, I'm going to start using my Instagram, basically. I have not used it yet at all. It just exists. So uh, I'll probably pop in there and hopefully have an Instagram community page and then it'll be pretty much all of my uh, social media, basically. Um, also, also, kind of leading up to that, I took a picture of me getting 100,000 miles in my car, and I posted it to the YouTube community section. And a lot of people were kind of angry at me. They're like, Chris, you took a picture going 75, 80 miles per hour? Using your phone like you're just going to get in an accident or something like that. So I'm going to let you guys know that I've never been in an accident in my car. And I've been driving for 10 years. And in fact, I drove probably about 100,000 miles in my life. I'm an extremely defensive driver. I've dodged many accidents. I do think I'm a pretty good driver. Some people say that uh, you know not getting in an accident is luck. I completely disagree. I think that you can dodge accidents uh, as well as making sure that you're not in people's blind spots. Um making sure that you're doing a good job and braking slowly so people have a, a good idea of when they're going to actually catch up to you instead of just having to slam on their brakes. Of course, you can't dodge every single accident, but you can dodge many of the accidents, even possibly accidents where people are going to hit you from behind. I even pay attention to that a lot. I watch people and see what they're doing and everything. Especially if I see them being a distracted driver, I get away from them. I don't drive near them. I don't drive in their blind spot. I get away from them. So anyways, I do feel like I'm a safe driver. I do feel like I'm a good driver. I actually did take that picture while driving, though. Uh, but what I did was, I was looking down at my odometer, I got my camera out, I was not like looking at the odometer waiting for it to go with my phone like this, I was just, I just had my phone out like this while I was driving, kind of had my hands on the wheel and I went like this, and uh, once it hit 100k, once I saw it turn 100k, I just started taking pictures, I took like 10 different pictures just like this, I just kept taking pictures, and then uh, so I could pay attention to the road while also doing that. And then I just picked out the best picture to put online. So I don't feel like I was being unsafe about it at all. I had to defend myself there. All right, I feel like I was being attacked. <laughs> don't like being attacked. Uh, this is a tough one for me. This is the question that I see uh, so gosh darn often. And it's it hurts my feelings a little bit. It really does. But I, I want to answer it right here for you guys right now. Is your channel dying? Is it not even just dying? Is it dead already? 
Oh my god. So first of all, uh, I do have about 375,000 subscribers right now. That is absolutely ridiculous. I had 375,000 people who liked me enough that they said, you know what, I don't even just want to watch one of this guy's videos. I want to be alerted whenever he posts a video. Bam, bam, bam. 375,000 people. That is stupendous. Now, when you look at the amount of views compared to my subscribers, it does seem quite low. I've only got about, I only get maybe 10, 10 to 20,000 views per video. To me, 10 to 20,000 views per video? And I post once to two, two, one to two times a day? That, to me, is straight up ridiculous in itself. So, no, I don't think my channel is dying. I do feel like, you know, may maybe back in the day, we probably could have gotten to twenty to 30,000 views. But that was in, like, the the exact heat of when Battles was the the most popular game that just came out. It was only out for, like, a year or so. They, they switched into mobile. They got Steam out as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on with the game. Updates pretty much every single week, uh, or if not every other week. So, with the death of Balloons, which is going to be my one of my other questions that I might just answer now. With the death of balloons also comes the death of my channel because my channel is based on balloons. In fact, a lot of people that watch my videos say that they don't even come because they want to be better at balloons or because they watch uh, for balloons info. They actually just watch to watch me. I, it's kind of honestly heartwarming to hear that, to be completely honest. It's like you don't even watch it for the videos um, of balloons. You just watch it for me. You know, that that's nice to hear, to be completely honest. So is my channel dying? Um, I guess it could be stated that, like, sure, it's not doing as well, but I definitely don't think it's dying in any way, shape, or form. Um, I believe that it's kind of going on hiatus right now, because there's two new games coming out in two months and about five months or six months that are going to be absolutely crazy for my channel. At least I'm hoping that it's going to be absolutely crazy for my channel. If, this d if those games don't help out my channel at all, yes, my channel is dying. But I have a strong feeling that that's not going to be the case. People are going to enjoy the content, they're going to enjoy me, and we're going to have a blast together. Um, shoot to the moon, man! Shoot to the moon! Well, I still want to try and interact with every single person uh, that I can. I, I, of course, I will never let the fame get to me or something like that. I still like you guys. I love you guys. I really do. So... Uh, I'm going to try and uh, make all that happen for you. But, no, I don't think my channel is is, de is dead. I don't really consider it dying. I do feel like it's not doing as well as it used to be, but that makes sense. You know, I, mean, I don't think it's that bad. Oh, man, this is getting really long, isn't it? Oh, crap. I've already been talking for 17 minutes, 30 seconds. Holy crap, I haven't got through half the questions here. All right. Did you go to school? Let's answer these fast. Yes, I did. I went to... Uh, so I graduated high school. Uh, I went to... Uh, community college for two years, got my associate's degree, I transferred into a university, Illinois State University, and I went there for two years. I got my degree in biology. I may end up going back to school eventually to get my master's degree, but at, as of right now, I actually don't have any plans for, for that. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Potatoes or bananas? Ooh, that's a tough question, man. I think I have to go with bananas. All right. Man, this YouTube is sucking it up right now. I can't load a freaking video. What is this garbage? Whatever. This video sucks anyways, man. It's not like anybody's watching it because my channel's dead. Alright, potato. Yeah, I gotta go with bananas. You guys know I love my bananas. I eat one, pretty much one every single day I uh, uh, live stream, <laughs> if not multiple, in one bite. So that's exciting. Potatoes are not bad, though. I actually do enjoy my potatoes. Uh, very cheap for high cal caloric content. Who is Luda? Luda's my little puppy dog. I think. Oh, you can see her little. See your little face. Oh, dear. She, she knows we're talking about her. She always tries to hang out as close as she possibly can to me. Usually she, she sits right here, though. But I got my uh, my boot on. My leg boot, because I got tendinitis. I got my leg boot on. Ugh. I got my leg boot on because I got tendinitis. So she can't really sit there very easily. My boot's too big. Um, what's on my bucket list? Dude, that's a good question. Um... Honestly, I've never made a bucket list. I don't really have any certain things that I really want to do in life. I just kind of go with the flow, to be honest. Every single day is a new day. I do plan ahead for certain things, but uh, for the most part, every, every day is a new day, and I just kind of let it ride. But I would like to visit most places in the world once, but the, thing, the sad thing is I wish there was some sort of teleportation. I wish I could just teleport, 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 teleport to, like, 50 of, like, the coolest places in the world just to see them once and be done. 
The sad thing is, I don't want to travel for eight hours to go look at something for two minutes. You know? So, that's on my bucket list, but it's really not anything that I really want to do, like, right now. Maybe I'll wait until I'm 60 or something like that. It just, time doesn't even matter. I don't even know. Or maybe by that point, they will have some sort of something that, like, they'll have some freaking hyperloops or something like that. It'll take me, like, an hour just to zoop, zoop, zoop somewhere. I would love that. Um, am I going to quit YouTube? What kind of question is that, man? What do you think I am? I love doing YouTube. Uh, I love you guys. I actually feel like you guys are my friends, even though that's kind of weird. Uh, so I really enjoy making videos for you guys. I really enjoy making people happy, and I, I don't think I would ever quit YouTube. Um, I, would, I would obviously absolutely do, absolutely do my best to make sure that videos come out no matter what. If I did have to get a job or something like that that's separate than this, I would try to make videos even if they if I had to make one a day or one every two days or something like that. Uh, will you make videos of other games? Well, actually, I've got multiple channels, guys. I've got uh, Super Science, which is my science channel, and I've got Super John Bombo Let's Plays, which is my Let's Play channel. Sadly, I haven't really uploaded very much on my Let's Play channel lately because I've been super, super busy with life. But uh, I do try and post other videos whenever they, I get the chance to on that channel. Feel free to check it out if you want. Um, my next plan is I'm trying to play through God of War right now, and I'll probably get some God of War videos up. It's just it's a little tough to do that, to be honest. Um, have I ever been recognized in public? Twice. Uh, it used to be once until about a month ago or so. Uh, but I've been recognized twice in public. Once at Menards, and once randomly when I was sitting at Indian style. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Crisscross applesauce. Uh, in while playing Pokemon Go. And those have been the two times that people have, have seen me. I was awkward in both situations, and I apologize for being so awkward. I'm sorry for being so gosh darn awkward. Have I ever played any card games? No, I not really. I mean, I've played like some pokerish type stuff. It's just really not my style. Uh, I think people mo mostly meant like strategy style games, like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or something like that, or even like Pokemon cards. I did collect Pokemon cards when I was a kid. I don't know why. It was just the cool thing to do at the time, so I did it. But uh, I do have my Pokemon card collection. I think it's it's actually in the basement, actually, I believe. It's in the basement. I've got a lot of them. I don't have all of them. Maybe I'll sell my Pokemon card collection to some lucky uh, uh, some lucky winner, or I'll give it away to some lucky winner or something. Uh, favorite Ninja Kiwi game? Oh, gosh, definitely Blue Steady Battles Steam version. I like the mobile, I like Flash, but I definitely love Blue Star Defense Battles Steam the most by far. I love it. It's an amazing game, well designed. Um, at this point, it's very well. Um, uh, it's very fair. I, I don't know what the correct term for that is. But there's no towers that are horrible, there's no towers that are like unbelievably overpowered or anything like that. It's just very fair all around, well balanced. That's what I'm looking for. It's a very well balanced game at this point. I'm sure some minor things could be done, but I think I think it's a good game. It's really solid. I love it. Have I ever slept in a bunk bed? Actually, yeah, I have. Um, when I was a kid, I slept in a bunk bed. Um, I was so young that I actually don't remember my brother sleeping, me and my brother sleeping in the bunk bed, but I had one of those, it was like one of those red bunk beds with like the little mini ladder on the side, and I used to sleep on the top, and eventually my brother got his own bed in his own room when we moved to our new house. And I got my own bed, but the bunk bed was still my bed. So I slept in a bunk bed by myself. I had two beds to work with if I really wanted to. Eventually, I don't know if my dad chopped it off or whatnot, but I ended up having just a single bed instead of a bunk bed. I don't remember what happened. I was really young when that happened. But I was lucky enough to live in a four-bedroom house, and I only had two uh, siblings. I had a brother and a sister, which is actually one of the questions that's going to come up here in just a second. Um... All right, where are we at, man? Uh, favorite, yeah. When will oh, when, when will Random Odd Series Season Seven come out? That's a tough one for me, man. Random Odd Series takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of brain power, and it's honestly, it sucks. It sucks the life energy out of me. Now, I do admit that I absolutely love the series and I want to continue it, but uh, it's tough because when I do the animations and stuff like that, it actually costs me money to make them. And if I'm not making the money back, like, I, I just, I don't have enough money to make them. You know, like I have to pay the animator to make, make the, the, the series. So, at this point, I don't have any plans for Random Mod Series Season 7, but I have a feeling right when Blue Star Defense 6 comes out, guys, hopefully if they have some sort of really cool high-end sandbox mode, 
Oh, baby, I can make some delicious-looking random odd series videos for Shiznit. I'm excited for that, man. Hopefully, you guys are, too. Um, do you read books? No, actually, I am not. Um, I'm not a book reader. I like reading. I don't mind reading, but I just don't really like books all that much. Something about school just kind of put me off of them. I didn't like, I didn't like reading when I was a kid. Uh, being forced to read was kind of upsetting. So, uh, I just don't really like reading. I'm actually pretty decent at reading, though. I don't know. That's all I got, man. It's not a fan. Uh, family. Yeah, so I do have a brother and I have a sister. My brother's older by about four years. My sister's younger by about two years. My Both my parents are approximately the same age. They're about 60. Um, and my mom was a nurse that worked at the flower shop that I work at, which turned into a... She, tur she went back to school to become a nurse again because when she became a nurse the first time, she didn't need to go to school for it. And by the time she was done... Um, working at the flower shop, she wanted to get, go back to being a nurse. She needed her to have her degree, which I think it makes sense for a nurse to have a degree, but that's just, that's how things worked back in the day. You didn't need to go to school. You just learned on the fly. Uh, my dad was a cop. Uh, he was a cop for like 20-something years, and then he retired, and he's been retired for like 10 years or so. Man, these just music, man. It's just garbage. You know what I think it's, oh, I know why. I know what's happening. <sighs> I'm uploading a video right now. That's what's going on, man. That's what's going on. So it's getting all screwed up over there because I'm uploading a video. It's kind of sucktastic music, anyways. So I don't really care. I'm not. I'm not really a big fan of this. A lot of people are though, which is kind of weird. I see the like, the dislike ratio is 300k to 3.7k, man. That's crazy. Uh, I don't really have too much else to say about my family. I'm not super duper close with them. Uh, well, I don't have. Well, I don't hate them. I'm not super duper close with them. I don't feel like. They're my favorite people on the entire planet. They're just kind of... They exist, and I appreciate the fact that they raised me. For sure. Um, but I'm not super-duper good friends with them, and I'm not ama on amazing terms with them, I'd say. Just sort of, like, just deal with each other, and we just know that we're family. But I do know that they have my backs. If anything ever really bad ever happened, they'll have my back, and of course I'll have their back as well. I, it's not... You know, no no, no fall on that, that note. Uh, this is kind of a weird question that I decided to pop in here... It was unexpected. I, you know, most people are asking about me and about battles and stuff like that, and then this random question came out. And I thought it was just kind of intriguing. Will science get to the point where everything is known in like a million or like a billion years? Uh, partially, yeah. I mean, I feel like at some point science will get to the point where they know all the the laws of the universe, all like the facts of the universe. Um, I don't think there's all that much stuff that that science won't be able to figure out. You know, I feel like eventually with time, everything will just be sort of understandable. Uh, I think it's honestly absolutely crazy and astounding to when, when it gets to that point. But I feel like you can't ever know everything. And the reason why is because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. The future is a pile of randomness, uh, all flown together, all strewn together. And uh, you never know what's going to happen in the next second. So even though you might know everything that's happened in the past, you won't know what's going to happen in the next few seconds, let alone the next few minutes, years, and millions of years. So no, I don't think you'll ever actually learn everything. But uh, it actually kind of reminded me of the Futurama episode with the giant brain, where all the little brain pods would go around and learn everything that happens in the universe, and eventually they came back and they would deliver it to the giant brain. And then once... Uh, they delivered to the giant brain. They're like, we don't want the universe to have any more information being created, so we're going to destroy the universe. So it would know all the information, and then it would destroy it all with it. And I thought that was kind of just a cool concept. And, like, you could tell these Futurama people who, who wrote the show were very smart. They were very intelligent people. In fact, I think there were something like four or five doctors on the writing show. Which is kind of cool, actually. On the writing uh, portion, the creators of the show, basically. All right, do you play battles off camera? Um, not that much, no. I actually, most of the time when I'm playing battles, I'm making videos for you guys. That's kind of how I roll. You gotta understand that I, I make like an hour or two of battles every day. So, you know, it can get a little bit boring to want to do that outside of the videos as well. Some people are crazy and they do like that. Me, not so much. I got other things I want to do. I got other fun things. Got two channels. I got a bunch of crap that I got to do. Where would you like to time travel to? Oh, most definitely into the future! All the way to the future. I believe that the future is going to be an amazing place. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind getting my brain uploaded to a computer so I could live forever. That'd be cool. Nothing else. I don't think it's going to happen. But I root for it. I, immor immortality is, is 
a goal of mine. If I had a bucket list, it would be immortality. <laughs> I wish I could live forever. Uh, is Battles dead? This I, I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier. Uh, I don't think Battles is dead. I do think it's dying. I, there's no updates coming out. Nothing really going on that's crazy with it. Uh, so, yeah, sure it is. Why wouldn't it be dying? It's like six years old at this point. Kind of makes sense for it to be dying. But at the same time, uh, I do feel like the the the, the 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 game is known. Blooms is just known. So when they come out with new things, new ideas, it's not going to be like a what is balloons type of thing. They'll be like, balloons, I've heard of that before. I love that game. They're going to hop back in. They're going to play the crap out of that thing. Might even rejuvenate like the battles um, videos and stuff like that, which I think is kind of cool. People might actually want to go back and play battles or learn about battles because of this new balloons game. Uh, what would you do if you weren't a YouTuber? Mm, that's a tough question. I d honestly don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'd still be working at the Garden Center, or if I would have some sort of other lab-related biology job, or what I'd be doing. Um, I would guess that I would probably have some sort of lab job. That's what I would think, and I'd probably hate my life, to be honest. And, uh, so I have to say thank you to you guys for allowing me to do what I love. I love making videos. This is, this is a dream job for me. I love making people happy. I love entertaining people. And uh, you guys allow, allow me to do this. So I really appreciate you guys. I love all of you. Big hearts. Is that a heart? It's a good enough heart. Love all you guys. And the last question of the day. Talk to you guys for over 30 minutes. I just wanted to get all these answers out. Just kind of talk to you guys. Kind of a low-key low key video for you. Uh, I do have a long-term plan for life. Kind of broad. Go anywhere with this one. No. As I told you guys earlier, I have a go with the flow attitude. I do plan ahead, but I don't necessarily say in 10 years, I want to be here. In 20 years, I want to be here. Um, I actually don't know what life is going to bring me. Uh, so I don't plan ahead too far. Uh, you know, I plan ahead maybe a week or a month or something like that. The rest just kind of goes. Uh, I do wish that uh, eventually I'll have enough money where I can live comfortably in life. If YouTube makes that happen, that would be wonderful. Uh, I do hope that I have a really nice family that I can rely on. Maybe I'll have some kids eventually. I'm not against kids. I know some people, they're just like, oh, don't want to have kids anymore. I actually would like to have some kids. I think it would be cool. I don't know if I'd be a, a, that great of a parent, but I think I would. I don't know. It's it's weird because I'm 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 I want to be nice, you know, and I know that sometimes as a parent you got to be stern and say no. So like I feel like it'd be tough for me to say no in a lot of, in a lot of situations, but I'd obviously do my best. But um, other than that, I really don't have that many plans. I'm gonna go with the flow as usual, guys. Uh, yeah, and this is just kind of a, a way to understand me a little bit, right? Uh, when I was in high school, I remember being like a junior in high school moving into senior year and everybody was planning their college career, where they're going to go to college, what they're going to do with their life, taking all these tests to feel like what, what the best thing is and like seeing counselors and stuff. And I was just like, no, thanks. So when I was a senior, I had no, I didn't apply to any colleges or anything. Uh, and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with my life? And people were suggesting just like, why don't you just go to community college? And I'm like, all right, I'll go to school. Why not? So I'm like, that's the next logical step. Got to go to school. So I went to community college. And then after the community college, people are like, well, Chris, what are you going to do now? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I guess I'll have to get my degree, right? They're like, yeah, you can't just get an associate's degree. That doesn't mean anything. I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to get my degree. They're like, what do you like to do? I'm like, I like science. I've always liked science. Took a lot of high school science classes. Took a lot of college science classes. Well, let's take some science classes. Uh, eventually, I actually wanted to get my biochem degree, biology and chemistry kind of mixed together into one, but I couldn't get that because uh, I didn't have enough chemistry credits in time. So sadly, going and get my associate's degree stopped me from being able to get the biochem degree, and instead I just got my biology degree because it was easier. So that's kind of my, uh, my story right there. I just kind of went with the flow, just whatever led me to the next step, and after I graduated, I didn't know what to do. I had no idea what to do. Uh, and that's right when YouTube took off. And it was just kind of like, all right, I guess we're doing YouTube now. So I went from I went to school just thinking, all right, let's go to school. And I found out later that like if I just got my degree in biology, you really can't do that much with it. You'd work a very 
sad job, probably, and or you'd have to go back and get your master's or your uh, doctorate to actually work like a decent job where you you could do things. So, I don't know if I would have just like worked a job and eventually gone back to school or something like that, but YouTube took off, uh, and I obviously I love doing YouTube, so bam, this is where it led me, and this is where I'm at right now. Don't know what the next step is, though. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys today. Hopefully on a good note. If I didn't answer any of your questions, I apologize. Uh, if you have any other further questions, you can leave them in the comments, but I can't promise that I will answer them. Because... Uh, maybe I'll answer them. We'll see. Maybe I'll answer some of them. Anyways, that's what I have you guys today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.